What's going on everybody? It's Kevin here. Look what I got for you today. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, something beautiful that I like to call Call of Duty 4. In my opinion, this is the best Call of Duty still in the series. Why I say that? Because the last three Call of Duties have just been copying this one, trying to make it better, but they've just been failing. I don't know how hard it is just to improve a few perks and, you know, make a little few better guns. And that's all you need to do and make this game would have been awesome. That's, uh, Modern Warfare 2 would have been awesome. Black Ops would have been better. But all they keep doing is just trying to change it, make something new rather than just, you know, give us what we want and get shanked, son. MW2 Beast. I don't know why you're not using a noob tube, but uh, that's not my issue to talk about right now because I gotta slice this guy in the back too because he's doing the exact same thing as you. And, yeah, you, don't, you don't need to look behind you. No, there's never anybody that kind of sneaks up behind you with dead silence and my ninja knife. No, that never happens. And, uh, oh, look. Hey, no, turn around, Kevin. What are you doing? You gotta get, get that guy too. You're only using me blade right now in the beginning of this game. And, oh my god, what is that? Do my eyes deceive me? Are those red dots I see on a UAV in a deathmatch? Oh my god, it is. And, uh, what? Uh, let's do it again. And, oh my god, run for the poop grenade. The uh, hacksaws. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is the best Call of Duty because it's all about your gun. Gun on gun gameplay. And that's what I miss with these Call of Duties. The last two Call of Duties have really, I think, I've kind of lost track of what you know, a shooter is. It's supposed to be about shooting the other players on the other team, not, you know, from a death machine flying in circles above the map. You know, I think that's what kind of... Right, I like those kill streaks though, but, you know, Modern for 2, they were too ridiculous. And Black Ops, they get shot down immediately, so there's annoying, and one's annoying and one's useless. <laughs> you know? Like, like I said here, it's all about your gun. You know, this game, the good players do well, and the bad players do bad. Strictly that. There's a lot less random nonsense. Like, you know, not like noob tubes in Marvel for 2 where they're refill refillable. Refillable? Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not like Black Ops where uh, you got some nonsense perks like Ghost, which have 100% counter to kill streaks. Unlike, uh,. Some other ones, but I, you know, I mentioned that in the previous video. But like I said, like the kill streaks are not overpowering. They're there to assist your team to win, not have your team win. Because I'm sure if you play Black Ops or Call of Duty, it's pretty much the first team to a chopper gunner, and that team wins pretty much every time. And like I said about you know the good players doing good and the bad players doing bad. Like like in Black Ops and you know Modern Warfare 2, they got you know care packages which are strictly or, or when you think about it, they're strictly made for the players who cannot get those higher kill streaks, so every once in a round they get those random chopper gunners and they go like, oh my god, I went 30-25, oh my god, I'm awesome! No, you know, you're really not. You're really not. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, the comparing this the Black Ops, is uh, the gun balance, which I feel like in this game, it's kind of similar to Black Ops, where the kind of useful weapons that there are, because you know, in like this game, there's really only like a handful of really like weapons you can really use. And like in Black Ops, I'd say you might have a little more than that, but you know, it's really just like assault. All the assault rifles I'd say in Black Ops are good. 74 u and MP5 are the only good SMGs. Uh, snipers are useless. Shotguns, the only good one there is this Bass 12. Everything else sucks. And light machine guns are too slow and uh, they kind of suck there too because they're like really slow in assault rifles because they uh. Because like in this game, you know, the light machine guns have really large clips, which makes sense because, you know, you have a large clip, but you move slow, so you're going to be more stationary, so you need more bullets. And uh, why would I use a 30-round uh, cl clip light machine gun when I can have a 35-round clip assault rifle and move faster, reload faster, and, you know, it just doesn't make sense. But, like, only issue I'd say in this game with the weapons, with the, oh, give me a pole vaulting beast! <laughs> Get some! <laughs> but like I said, the only issue in this game really with the weapons would be the M16, but it really just kind of the same thing as the 74U with rapid fire. I've come to learn my evil ways. You know, because when I first started playing Black Ops, I used the rapid fire 74U. I really did. But then I learned the error of my ways. I think I still have a gameplay which I might post up where I go like 32 and 4 when I'm using rapid fire 74U. Sadly enough, 
But you know, bad things do happen to good people. <laughs> Dang, I need some water. My throat's about to kill me. All right, now we're back. And like I said, weapons. And but the only, I think the best weapon balance in all the Call of Duty would be Modern Warfare 2, even though like the. Because uh, instead of making what they decided to do in that game, besides instead of fixing the M16, what they decided to do is make every gun, every gun in the game as good as the M16. So you got awesome, awesome weapons like the ACR. <laughs> like I, I remember I play, I played Modern for two today, and I was using the ACR, and like I started burst firing. And I'm like, wait, what? No, what the hell am I doing? I don't need to burst fire. This is a freaking ACR, man. I don't need to do anything. And look at this fail aim. I realize that. <laughs> Later on in this game, I switch up my sensitivity because I realized I, I, the whole time I was playing on seven because I was uh, sniping the game before. Silly me. <coughs> oh man, man. But I would say that Black Ops, what it does have on this map or game, I mean, are the maps. I say Black Ops actually has some really good maps, but um, my problem is that they kind of get wasted away by the uh, perks because uh, the perks in Black Ops get kind of annoying. I'm looking at you, Ghost, in Second Chance. Yeah, see right there, I was just changing my kill streaks. But, another reason why I say that this game is better than Black Ops is because you can actually snipe. Sniping is actually useful. Even though, uh, you know, if you're actually going to try and win the game, you know, you're not going to use a sniper rifle. But, you can at least, you know, hold your own, I'd say, with a sniper rifle in this game if you're somewhat good at it. But... Black Ops, apparently they just hate Muzzle Fuzzle and Grizz so much they decided to ruin it for people like me and everybody else who likes sniping. <laughs> but yeah, like Call of Four sniping, definitely the best sniping still. Uh, I like Marmor for two, you know, I didn't think the sniping in that game was ridiculous because, you know, sniping in Call of Duty is freaking hard. I don't care who says what or whatever, like, you know, when everybody's using fully auto guns like me in this game, like, do you think I would have been able to go 42 and 5 with a, you know, an M40? I don't think so. I don't even think. I don't even think you know the I mighty Hutch could pull that off. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could be wrong. <laughs> and also, like another annoying, but say like in this game, like when you get air support, you know it doesn't get shot down because there really isn't any way to shoot it down except with your gun. You know, like it's not like you know because like when you know the kill streaks in this game take skill to get, and so they go okay, well we don't want people you know shooting down your kill streaks immediately. I'm looking at you, Strilla 3. <laughs> I'm looking at a lot of things today. Man, I'm angry. I'm an angry commentator right now. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Like I said, like the shooting down the air support in Black Ops, it's really, like, it's so disheartening. We're like, you get that chopper and like, let's do some business. And you open the door, and then <laughs> you get one kill, and then you're down. You're like, oh, well. That was really fun. Probably should just kept the care package and then uh, got a chopper gunner in that instead, you know? <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? And the perks in this game, I say they're probably still the most balanced, except for, you know, juggernaut and sniping is the only annoying part. But other than that, like, all the perks are totally fine, even though there still is last stand. But, you know, it, you know, for, uh, to my recollection, recollection, or to my memory, let's just say that. <laughs> To my memory, I don't really remember people uh, falling down with their primaries into second chance, you know, like they do in Black Ops, where I guess, you know, Black Ops took a uh, note out of Moment for Two's book, and they're like, well, in that game they have Last Stand and, you know, Final Stand, so let's just combine the two. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Thank you, David Vonderhaar. <laughs> but yeah, what can you do? Yeah, well, another, but then another thing, not one of the annoying part, perks in this game would be Frag times three, annoying. Juggernaut was annoying for sniping, but other than that, it was really just totally fine. And uh, in this game, you don't see a lot of UAV jammer because uh, you got stopping power. And when you come against a guy with stopping power versus someone who doesn't have stopping power, generally the guy with stopping power is going to win. But, uh, you know, the game is actually starting to run down here because uh, everybody is a camping noob and the time limit is going to run out. But don't worry, don't worry, get those last few kills. No, no, we don't want this time limit to hit. I hate when the game hits the time limit. Because it's about time to end this game pretty soon. I'd say right about now. So, yeah, there you go. 42 and 5. And, uh, by the way, Fox, here's your proof. <laughs> I'm 42 5 on block in Call of Duty 4. Uh, thanks for watching.
And uh, if you guys want to see some more Call of Duty uh, 4, please let me know. I got some extra games. I got like a really got a real good I Hate My Team video. And I got another good, real pretty beast score as well. So if uh, you know, give me a little rate, comment, maybe a little subscribe, and then uh, I'll get all fancy with you or something. I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye.